Hello Aries, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of April 29th through May 5th, 2019. The cards I am using today are Wild Unknown Tarot by, oh I forgot, oh PC Cast. And I'm closing off with my Animal Totem Tarot by, nope sorry today I am using my Wild Unknown Tarot by uh, Kim Cran. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Aries? Aries, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. All right, so we got the visions card here. So I feel like we are going to start seeing things for what they are, okay? Um, and I feel like you might be having dreams about what may be going on. Um, I feel like these dreams you are having, these visions you are having, um, these just feelings, <laughs> they're, they're real, okay? And I feel like these secrets are coming out pretty soon, okay? All right, so we got invisible here. So this makes me feel like Somebody feels like they're they're invisible. Somebody feels like they need to do extra stuff for attention, okay? Somebody feels alone, definitely. Okay, so it was the self worth card that just flipped over. It was um reversed. So this makes me feel like some of you guys are feeling like you're not worth anything, okay? Okay, and I feel like it has something to do with um you not getting the take attention that you need. All right, so we got the High Priestess of Water here. So this makes me feel like things are not going to change anytime soon. And I feel like this secret is getting ready to come out, okay? And I feel like that's why you may want to do different things, okay? Because you want to do different things to get different reactions. But this person that you're dealing with is going to remain the same no matter if you um, do all this extra stuff or not, okay? And you, you're still going to feel alone and invisible. All right, so we got the cycles card reversed here. So this makes me feel like you are trying to break a cycle, okay, by, by doing something different, you know. Um, but with this changes card on side of it reversed, I feel like like no matter what you do, the situation will not change with this person, okay. Okay, we got some flyers. We're going to see what that is. All right, yeah, so it seems like it's just going to cause more drama, more chaos, more craziness. Okay, let's see what this is over here. All right, so we got obedience, we got meditation, and we got belonging. Okay, so it seems like somebody, I feel like somebody is usually a quiet, just homebody. Okay, I feel like somebody is just doing wild and crazy stuff to try to be alone. Okay. I feel like somebody is not being obedient, even though this is upright. Since it's on a reverse of this meditation, I feel like somebody is not doing the usual things, okay? Not uh, following the, the relationship rules like usual, okay? And I feel like someone's trying to do things that other people do to get that attention, okay? Like, okay, if I act like this, then would you like me? Then would you want me? Then would you love me? Okay. So I feel like somebody is po possibly degrading themselves a little bit to try to be the person um, that their partner wants or uh, family members want. Okay. That people want. Okay. Because this could just be friendships. Okay. All right, so it seems like somebody, yeah, yeah, somebody is definitely in denial right now about the change, okay? Somebody feels like if I act different, this person will act different. But I feel like in this case, I feel like it's been done so long or they just used to this kind of person um, so long that they won't change, okay? They won't change. They are definitely stuck in their ways and somebody just does not want to believe it. All right, so we got the high priestess of air here. Oh, wow. So the feeling that I'm getting here is when you do um, go off and start doing 
this wild stuff or just doing stuff out of your character like maybe hair or nails or um, a suit whatever you do I feel like it's gonna cause more problems and I feel like this person is gonna come out and tell you exactly uh, what they feel about you with or without the change okay I feel like I just saw somebody looking crazy okay so I feel like they may even just give you looks like dirty little looks or weird looks like what are you doing okay to let you know that they really don't care for the way you acting okay all right so we got the letting go card here so this definitely is what it is it's basically like it may be time to let go of all the craziness drama and chaos all right all right here we go we got obedience again so this makes me feel like you need to be more obedient to yourself if that makes sense like do the stuff that you like do the stuff that you feel like needs to be done like when it comes to other people you know you can't change them okay and I feel like you need to realize that okay that's what I'm feeling when I see this card okay it's like no matter what you do this person is going to be who they are so this makes me feel like you just need to keep being who you are all right what's going on with the Aries Aries love reading for April 29th through May 5th, 2019. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. So, okay, this makes me think about this card as well. I do feel like somebody's trying to find some emotional balance within, within their self as well, okay? Um, this also car, this card also represents to me that if these things didn't happen, they're getting ready to. So it seems like if you're getting ready to change your ways or change the things you do, I feel like you should just not do those things because they are not going to change the person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, if you're doing stuff to make yourself happy, that's one thing. Find, finding balance in your own self, that's one thing. But doing it for others, it, it's not going to help anything, okay? I don't know if I cut, but I'm going to do it. Aries, Aries. I did, but okay, it's done now. All right, let's see what's under here. All right, yeah, so it seems like some kind of heartbreak is getting ready to come from this situation. Um, I feel like before and or after... Uh, somebody tries to change their ways and see how this person really thinks or feels about you, okay? All right, so we got the four cups reversed here. So I do feel like a lot of secrets are going to get exposed here, okay? And I feel like this means good things are to come, okay? But I do feel like some kind of sadness is going to be there. But I feel like the good part about this is you're going to be able to see that this person does not want to change and won't change. And... You're just going to find more stability in yourself, okay? More self-love as well. All right, so we got the star card reverse. All right, so this is our reverse. Star card reverse, you're not getting what you hope for, okay? Whatever you're doing, you're not going to get what you hope for because we got this father of wands reverse. This person is just a disloyal person. This person does not have any feelings. They don't care about anything other than what's going on with their self. And we got this Wheel of Fortune reversed that makes me feel like no matter what you do, things will not be good as long as you're dealing with this person, okay? All right, so we have the Six of Swords reversed. So the Six of Swords reversed to me is also like this Chaos card. Um, it's, it's, everything is crazy, okay? And then I feel like if somebody's getting ready to move out, okay? Or you guys are were supposed to go on a trip, but I feel like it's not happening now. All right, yeah, it seems like it's not happening because you're dealing with somebody who is unloyal, uncaring. You know, this person is not giving at all, okay? Definitely not giving you the attention that you need because you feel invisible, Okay. All right, what's this four cups reverse? One card, please. 
Okay, so I guess that explains a lot too. I feel like amongst everything of the secrets getting ready to come out, I feel like there is a third party situation going on. I feel like some of you guys already know about this third party situation, but you weren't looking at it like, you know, it was anything real. You were feeling like, okay, well, that's just there right now. And if I change myself, it's going to change their attitude. This third party situation isn't going anywhere, okay? And I feel like one of the, that's going to be something that helps you um, strengthen yourself for a better future, okay? Or to just to leave this situation. All right, six of swords reversed. All right, so the Empress card reversed. So it seems like the Empress reversed to me represents um, somebody hoping and wanting and wishing for things to change, okay? This things is not going to change. No matter what, this person move out, you go on a trip, whatever, um, this person is, is not going to change the way they are, okay? Same old person, no matter what you do or how you do it. All right, let me one for this Father of Wands reversed. All right, so we got the Two of Swords here. So this makes me feel like some of you guys are thinking about leaving this situation. Should I stay or should I go, okay? But, of course, that's up to you. I know being in uh, crazy relationships before, you leave when you're done. You leave when you're completely sick of it. You know, there's nothing anybody can say or do to push you even any faster okay especially if you're Aries that stubbornness inside of us we gonna back up if somebody's telling us and pushing us to do anything okay all right so we got this eight of cups here reversed and this does make me feel like you guys are getting ready to walk away from this situation because you are realizing that it's unfixable all right so we got this eight of wands here. So this makes me feel like somebody is getting ready to move and move forward quickly. This also makes me feel like you're going to be able to rejuvenate yourself and, and repair all the things that this person has done to you very quickly after you leave this um, situation. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.